Okay, this is Innate Immune Defenses Part 2, and now we're going to um, talk about complement, which is another chemical barrier, so I will put that in blue, but it's um, on the inside. Instead of being an external secretion, complement is in the blood. And what it is, you hear that word complement, right? They all work together and help each other. It's about 30 chemicals that only activate if pathogens get into the blood. And when activated, they hold hands in a circle and punch, almost like a three-hole punch, they punch holes in bacterial cell walls and they can work on worms too, parasitic worms. So if you look at this picture I have here, imagine that complement is these little orange dots. This is before it's activated. Oh, I definitely should have used a different color, huh? Because is, let's use purple to highlight this. There's complement before it's activated. Maybe make these purple so you can tell them apart from the other stuff we were talking about. And then once it's activated, all those individual chemicals form a circle that can sit on top of the bacterial cell. And it's almost like they all in unison jump up and then jump down and punch a hole through the pathogen wall. So if this is the bacterial cell, this is the pathogen, and the complement forms a circle and punches up and down on the bacterial cell wall. And what's amazing about this is that these little chemicals are floating in the plasma all the time, but they're only activated if a pathogen gets into the bloodstream. And if they were to activate inappropriately, then they could theoretically be damaging a lot of your healthy cells. And so they only activate when um, a bacterial um, infection enters the bloodstream, or it could be like a worm or a protist infection as well. Okay, and then the last thing I want to put on this page is uh, maybe a green pen. I'm going to use that yet. Inflammation is part of innate immunity, but it's also the key link to adaptive immunity. What I mean by that, I will tell you. In fact, I think I'm going to try to draw you. Let's say you have innate immunity and inflammation and adaptive immunity. If innate immunity sees inflammation happening, so these occur together, but then these occur together. So if your lymphocytes, your TMB cells, start trying to recognize a pathogen, then they are going to act back to stimulate 
inflammation as well. So it's almost like a circle where innate immunity includes inflammation, but once inflammation gets underway and adaptive immunity is underway as well, adaptive immunity cells will stimulate ongoing inflammation until the pathogen has been hopefully eradicated.